Our pregnant goats are suffering so badly. They're just so big and uh, their bodies just won't give up and let those babies come out. I've been going to check on them about every couple of hours. I have not been waking up in the middle of the night to check on them. So this time when I go check on them, I'm gonna take you along with me so you can see how they're doing too. And I want to go over some of the early signs that labor is coming. One thing that's hap been happening just today is that Honey must be feeling left out because she's finding her way into our extra kidding pen even though she shouldn't be in there. Coco is in this kidding pen, which we put her in there. Princess is in this kidding pen because we put her in there. But Honey is feeling left out. She wants to have a baby too. Do you want to have a baby too? Come on. You're supposed to come out. Come on. Out. <laughs> out. So I need to find a new way to keep her out. Because this locking system as high tech as it is, is not working for her. What? You're not making this easy for me, my darling. What do you think you're going to do? There. That will keep you out. Does that feel good? Oh, I think so. <laughs> so I've come in to spend some time with my sweet, sweet Coco here. And she is just miserable. I've been, like I said, I've been checking on these guys um, about every two hours throughout the day seeing if there are any further signs that we're getting closer to labor. And we haven't seen any active labor signs. But we do have signs that there that labor is coming. And I wanted to share some of those with you. Now, let me tell you that all the goats are going to be different and each pregnancy, each delivery, um, each labor is going to be different too. So the first thing that I've noticed with these guys, which is consistent with a lot of other goats, is the change in behavior as they get closer to delivery. Now Coco generally is a very active goat and she hasn't been really friendly with me, mostly because um, maybe a, a couple months ago or so, um, she had a pretty significant cut on her eye that she that she got and because I had to catch her and put medicine on that uh, that cut almost every day she actually became quite skittish around me so for her to want to be near me uh, and actually the other day she climbed right into my lap and laid on my lap um, that's a behavior change to me that indicates she's getting closer to having these babies uh, Princess is my most clingy, lovable goat that we have right now. She was the first born from Rory two years ago, uh, and she has been the attention hog, uh, must have everything first, must have the most attention from everybody, but um, in the last day or so, day or two, she doesn't want anything to do with me. Uh, she doesn't even really want me to touch her. She definitely doesn't want me to feel her ligaments. She just wants to be left alone. Uh, which is just really bizarre for her. The biggest indicator and thing to monitor when your goats are getting close to having their babies, or kidding it's called, is their ligaments. Now the ligaments are a tendon that are uh, on the rear end, near the rear end of a goat. And as 
birth becomes more and more imminent, all of those things need to loosen up so that the pelvis can open, the cervix can open, and it can allow those babies to pass through um, and, and come out and be delivered. So the ligaments or the tendons are very close to the tail. And by monitoring how tight they are, you can over time notice how loose they're getting. And as soon as they almost disappear, then you know that everything on the backside has relaxed and opened up enough for those babies to start coming out. And then it should not be long. However, you know, on some goats it could be a couple hours, on some goats it could still take more than a day. Um, it just depends on the goat. So let me try to show you uh, where the ligaments are because that was actually one thing that um, I had a hard time understanding where they were. Here's her spine and here are her hips. Okay, here's her tail. And the ligaments, now this isn't good lighting, I can feel them. The ligaments are closer to the back end uh, uh, than, than I imagined. On hers, they're right here. And they're not really tight, but they're also not completely gone, which means she's, I don't know, she might not even go tonight. But when they're completely gone, and when I say gone, I meant they've disappeared because they're so mushy. You know, they're still in there, they're not gone. But if you can, up in here, almost put your entire hand all the way around their tail, the bone inside their body, where the tail comes out, you know they're getting close. Right now, Coco's babies are still really high up. Um, and uh, I, I hope that you can see that. But if she were closer, those babies would have dropped down. After the babies have dropped, back here um, in this area, kind of behind her belly area, the baby area, uh, but in front of her hips, there will create kind of a hollow area. And uh, you'll be able to see that a little bit more if, if the babies drop like they're supposed to. And that way you'll know that they're getting that the, they're getting really close to starting active labor. In some cases, the does will start bagging up. Uh, that's a phrase that means the the udder will start filling with with milk. Um, I really don't think that's a great indicator of how close the birth is and labor. Because in these two goats, actually, they have started bagging up a month ago already. In some goats, they'll bag up 24 hours before they have the babies, but in others like mine, it's, a, it's been a long time. They've, they've progressively uh, had uh, larger and larger udders. However, when the babies drop, that creates more pressure. I can feel the babies moving in there. They're kicking. And that's a great sign. You do want to keep checking the babies, make sure they're moving, make sure they're safe in there. But as those babies drop, they create more um, pressure on the udder. And so it will look even more bulgy and uh, people describe it as looking tight and shiny. And really that's a lot of that pressure pushing on it that'll cause it to bulge out and the teeth Sometimes we'll, we'll almost go almost sideways, but, but definitely at an angle. And that could be a really good indicator, especially if you're watching the difference in the udder. Another thing that I've noticed <laughs> as the goats are getting closer is, is more about their back end. And I hate to be kind of gross about that, but these are all things that you need to t uh, pay attention to on your goats when they're getting close to the end. The tail itself will almost become so loose that it, like, it, that it almost jiggles. Um, and the, um, the area, the, the complete back end area where um, you know the vagina is and all those kinds of things, that area will become more swollen and um, kind of jiggly. I know it sounds weird, but kind of jiggly. And the vagina opening will look kind of more stretched out or stretchy. So there we have it. An update on the girls. 
They're showing some signs that they're getting ready to have their babies, but they're not quite there yet. And Honey is just sad that she doesn't have a baby inside of her yet. Well, you guys, that's where we're at with the goats today. No big time action, but it's still really exciting here on the homestead. I just cannot wait for those babies. They're gonna be so cute. Uh, we've been having some questions about, you know, will she have, will they have more than one? I think there might be three in, in both of these girls. Wouldn't that be exciting to have six babies all at once on the homestead? Ooh, it's gonna be so exciting but we'll try to keep you up to date as much as possible, putting out videos uh, about their progress. You know, things are getting pretty exciting on the homestead. If you're not a subscriber yet, right now is a perfect time to hit the subscribe button below. Thank you to all of our traditionalists that come back five days a week to watch all of our new videos. Hey, if you know somebody that would like what we're doing here or like our channel, please go ahead and share that. And until next time, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.